Hello, hello, and welcome. Jenna's Picks Live. It is the fitness edition tonight. I am so excited for this live, you guys. You have no idea. Who's on already? Okay, Robin's on. She, Robin, I didn't think was gonna show up, but I'm glad she's here hyping up the crowd. Hi, Robin. I love you. Good luck. Robin has a big training happening in Atlanta. She's our resident Delta flight attendant. So we are all sending up, we are flying up a prayer in an airplane for you, Robin. I know you're not gonna be able to stay on the live, but I know you'll watch the replay. Um, so good luck. And I am glad that you were here hyping up the crowd before every before uh, everybody got on. Hello, Effie, welcome, welcome. Hello, people are popping on now. Hi, Amy. I bet you guys didn't think that I was gonna be this early, AKA four minutes late. <laughs> I actually set the live to go live always at like 9.05, 9.04, something like that, because I know I'm gonna need the extra two minutes or three minutes or four minutes or five minutes, but we're good. We are here and I am so excited about this live mainly because I love workout clothes. I don't like working out, but I love workout clothes and I love learning cool new things to like impart onto my fitness routine. So I hope to do the same thing for you guys tonight. And we are doing our giveaway winner tonight as well. Um, oh, look what I just got brought down. Look at this. Our giveaway winners are all in here. Look at this beautiful. I told my mom I had a, um, a leftover like Christmas tin that you know had uh some floral design in it so i was like i'm just gonna put the winners in there and i'll choose out of them and then of course she wrapped it up in wrapping paper for me so we have our uh giveaway entries in here and we'll be picking our winner tonight i'm so excited so if you guys have been following for a while you know that our giveaway has been graciously donated by Katie Austin and her team, celebrity trainer. Um, you might know Denise Austin, her mom. My mom and I used to do her workouts all the time. Uh, so her daughter is a celebrity trainer, Sports Illustrated Rookie of the Year. I love her. I love her energy. We'll be talking, hi, Tuck, all, all about her app. Taco actually is an expert on her app uh, because he's always working out with me whenever I'm working out at home. So we'll go through the app with you so you, you guys can see um, like all the cool things that she features. And then I'm also going to talk about a couple of other apps that I have and um, like a free YouTube channel that I love uh, that somebody that I love does workouts. So I have a lot of options for you guys for stay at home busy schedules, on the go schedules, somebody like Robin who's a flight attendant can't like travel with a bunch of equipment. So all my stay at home equipment is super easy to store and a lot of it is easy to travel with too. So everything is really attainable, affordable and usable and easy to use, which is kind of what we want here. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna be going through all the things that I use when I work out at home. And if you guys saw that uh, reel that I put up the other day, you know how chaotic it can be when you work out from home, especially when you have cats, fur babies that won't leave you alone, and also human babies that really need attention. So it was, it's, it's been chaos, and I'm glad to be able to have the option of going back to the gym now that Juliet is old enough to go in their, like, you know, tot spot area. Uh, but I do still work out from home when it's just more convenient and I don't have, you know, a half an hour to drive to the gym and a half an hour to drive back because the gym's pretty far from my house. <laughs> so it is a luxury to be able to get there. But hello, hello, welcome. Hi, Elaine, how are you? Hi, Sharon. Yes, right on time. Um, YouTube has some great free options, totally. The person, uh, I'll talk more about her as we get into the show, but I always um, have always, always used Rebecca Louise since I started really working out on my own. My mom and I used to work out together with her videos when I was living at my parents' house, and then I used her videos to get my shoulders in shape for my wedding, for my strapless wedding dress, and then I kind of never stopped using her videos. So we'll talk about that, and also another app that I've used as well that you guys have heard me talk about. Uh, Robin said, who's going to teach me? Well, it's so easy because these people who do the apps, like Katie Austin, Rebecca Louise, Obey Fitness, these uh, other apps that I use, like I said, some of them are free, some of them you pay for, and they're so easy to use. They have different levels of, um, you know, if you're just starting out or if you want a little bit more of an expert level, they have everything. So it's really easy. I'm going to take you through it. Taco, are you kidding me? I haven't even started working out yet and he's all over me. I can't even... Wait to see what he's going to be like when I actually get down on the floor and start showing you guys some moves. <laughs> I've done a lot of Rebecca. I used her app for a bit and then switched to Obey. Oh, okay. So you're familiar with it. I've actually never used her um, her app. I, I used her workouts a ton before she actually started with her burn app. I'm sure it's great. I just was... I don't remember what happened, why 
something. I think I found Obe because I was postpartum or I couldn't work out. It was like the end of my pregnancy or something like that. So I never signed up on her app, which I kind of feel bad about because her free videos I've been doing for years. So I kind of feel like I owe her some money at this point. Um, Christina said, I only do Denise Austin or Katie Austin. I love them. Yay. So happy to hear that. Um, I do too. And one of you guys is going to win um, a Katie Austin full year app subscription, which is valued at $99.99. Um, and it's all workouts and recipes and all that kind of stuff. So we're, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show you guys some moves with some of my at-home equipment that I love. So first off, I'm just going to show you guys how I linked everything because unlike to know it, you can only link 16 items in a post. So I did one post for the workout stuff that I'm going to show you and one post for the workout equipment that I'm going to show you. So let me just pop on to the um, screen share real quick over here. So on my screen share, I have my new website, you guys. Woohoo! If you guys haven't checked out my website, go check it out, jennaspicks.com. It has everything there. My belt, if you guys haven't ordered yet, I just sent out the first batch of orders today. So exciting. So you guys can check out the belt there. It comes in three colors. And then for tonight, we're going to go on to my like to know it. Very easy to get there now. Go down to my Jenna's Picks collection. So everything that I show in every live is going to be um, put into this collection. So if you liked something on my show from a month ago, it will be listed here. So these are the two uh, options for the equipment and the um, workout outfits. So the first one is all the equipment that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And then this one is all of the like workout outfit stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys today too. So a bunch of different price points for you guys here. Um, as you know, your girl loves a good deal, but I do have to say that I am very picky when it comes to workout clothes. I think because it, um, like, I just need to feel, like, I need to look good to feel good and feel good to look good, especially when I'm working out. I will get, like, down in the dumps if I feel like, if I don't feel good while I'm working out. You know, you're supposed to work out to start feeling good, so you want to make sure that you feel confident as you're going into the workout, and that will give you, um the best like prep to be able to, to get a good workout in. So I'm kind of snobby when it comes to my workout clothes, but like I said, your girl loves a good deal. So I always buy stuff on sale and I'm actually really bummed because I bought this brand new Athleta outfit just for the live tonight and I expedited the shipping. So I'm definitely gonna be on the phone with Athleta tomorrow because the top came, but the bottoms didn't come. So I'm really bummed about it because I wanted to show you guys that outfit. But if you don't know, now you know, Athleta has a great sale collection on their website always. So much great stuff on sale. Taco, excuse me, I'm in the middle of talking. Um, so I always love their sale section. I feel like a lot of times Lululemon stuff is on sale, but it's still like super expensive. And also like all of the popular sizes are always sold out. So Athleta sale section on their website is always so good and also in store too. So hi Tracy, how are you? Um, okay, so Athleta is having a warehouse sale. Okay, well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> um, I am a little bummed, but I did get two new Athleta tops that I'm going to show you guys too. And my whole, whole outfit right now is Athleta. Um, I was just in there talking to them to see if um, we might be able to do something, something fun with um, all of you guys. So we'll see. We keep our fingers crossed for some opportunities that come up there. But yeah, Taco is wanting to make an entrance like so bad right now. All right, Taco, everybody knows you're here. All right, hello, hello, everybody. So I'm gonna get right into it. Robin said she loves Zumba, so you might not know this, but I am, or I have been, I think you have to recertify, but I have been a certified Zumba instructor. Little little tidbit of information there. I adore Zumba. It was the first thing, the first class that I took coming back to the gym, and I literally cried through the class. I was so happy to be back doing something that I loved for me after two years of having babies and COVID and all that like stuff. I was so happy to be back at the gym. I was crying through the class. So I love Zumba. It's always been like one of my favorite things. Dancing is my favorite. Um, and I know we talk, oh, there's always talk, a lot of the questions that I got on my comment box today on Instagram, I asked for some questions that you guys wanted me to address for the live. And a lot of the questions that I got had to deal with motivation, um, how do I stay motivated? There's so much going on. I don't feel motivated, all that kind of stuff. So I do want to address that too, because it's, I'm not motivated to work out. <laughs> Nobody, even Katie Austin, a celebrity trainer, 
is not motivated to work out t- every single day, every year, year after year. It just doesn't happen. So I would say right away, take that thought out of your head because if you're waiting to get to feel motivated to work out, you're going to fail. It's not, it's not going to happen. You need to switch that mindset to dedication. And I'm going to tell you all the ways that I kind of combat that in my own mind because we are all so busy. Nobody has time to work out. Literally, Robin is in the air probably for half her life. So nobody has time to work out. Nobody wants to work. I shouldn't say nobody, but a lot of people don't feel like if they had free time, they would want to work out, right? So a lot of it has to do with just dedication and just knowing I have to do this. Like this is something in my day, like I brush my teeth in the morning, I work out today. Like that's how it is. So I think having the set schedule in your head is really important. At least for me it is. And everything that I'm going to tell you today is just based on my experience. I don't know if it's going to be the same for you. I hope it is. Um, But I can only go off of my personal um, experience with it. And to say that I never wanted to work out. I never liked going to the gym. It was always a struggle. My mom is up there. I'm sure she's laughing because she would drag me to the gym with her. She would make me go on runs with her when we went on vacation. And I was miserable. Like it's not something that I ever felt was enjoyable until I found things that I liked to do. And now I do them. Like I always thought because my mom was a runner that like working out meant that you had to run on the treadmill. And I hated it and I would dread going to the gym and I didn't want to do it and I just, I wasn't motivated to do it because I didn't like it. It wasn't until I realized, oh, wait a minute, you can go to the gym and like follow a YouTube video at the gym or take a dance, like take a Zumba class, take a dance class, take a bar class, do like light weights and strength training. I didn't realize that like, wait, this could actually be enjoyable and not make me feel like I'm dying every two seconds. So I really, honestly, for me, the shift really came when I was on my own and I was out of my parents' house and I had to figure things out for myself and like what worked for me. And that's personally what has worked for me is finding things that I like doing. I hate running. I don't want to do it. So why would you make yourself do it if you don't like doing it? That just like take it out of your, out of your mind. So like Katie Austin and Obey Fitness, they have cardio classes And sometimes I force myself to do it if I feel like I haven't done cardio in a while. But most of the classes that I do in the gym and also online are bar classes, low impact, strength training, no no jumping around. If I could lay on the floor and do my entire workout horizontal, I will do it. (laughs) So you just have to find something that works for you. And that's what works for me. So that's why I love these um, like at home workouts and also the at home equipment that I'm going to show you because it's easy to use. It's enjoyable. You don't feel like you're going to die and you get a workout, you feel healthy and you feel good afterwards and you look good while you're doing it. So we're going to be talking all about that. Working out is not fun, but I feel like as you get older for your health and to look good and not old. I totally agree, Effie. And also when you're in my stage of life, it's the only alone time that I get. (laughs) Literally, it's the only time where I do not have a tiny human being following me around and yelling mommy every two seconds. I get Two hours, or I think it's two and a half hours now that Juliet's two, now that Juliet's gonna be turning three. So it's two and a half hour, up to two and a half hours of childcare every day at my gym. So it's like the only time that I can get to like be alone with myself on my phone or whatever I want to do. So that's a little bit about why I like going to the gym now as opposed to working out at home. Because as you could see from that YouTube from that uh, reel that I posted, it is straight chaos with me working out at home. Um, But anyway, yes. So a routine, correct, Amy, is the only way that you're going to keep doing it. And um, oh, thank you so much. Everyone loves my website. So easy to navigate. Thank you. Um, Yes. So a routine is the only way that you're going to be able to stay doing it. And the reason why I love the Katie Austin app in particular, and I think other apps are like this too, is that I'll, I'll just show you now. So I mean, while we're talking about it. So this is what her app looks like. She has workouts, recipes. She has a bridal section because she's getting married now. Um, And in her workouts, you can uh, search by like a quick workout, full classes. Just to start off, just like to start this live off, I will say that, like I said, I don't enjoy the process of working out. So in order to make it something that I can do for myself and do it every every day or, you know, four times a week or whatever, I do, I work out if I'm doing it at home, 25 to 35 minutes, 
And if I'm at the gym class, it's usually a 45 minute class. So I'm not at the gym. Well, I'm at the gym for a while, but I'm not in working out and in a class all day. Like it's just not enjoyable for me to be spending my entire day working out. A lot of people do that and that works for them, but it doesn't work out. It doesn't work for me. So she does that. And then she also has a calendar. So I don't know if it's going to let me uh, look at this while if I'm not signed in. Oh, it's not going to. Okay, so let me just see if I can actually sign in. Mm, hang on, guys. Uh, let me just see <laughs> what my password is for this. Um, of course, it's not in here. <laughs> Great. What do we think? Um, did I get it right? Okay. So this is what it looks like. Um, she literally would tell you, like, I will have a half an hour to work out and I'll open up my phone. I'll, I'll open up her app and then I'll be like, oh, it's a Wednesday. Perfect. It's an ab and arm day. So literally click on this workout now and it will tell me it's a 20 minute video of abs and arms. So like, I don't even have to go through and spend the time pulling up workouts and figuring out what I want to do. That's also it's like such a time suck. It sucks all the time out of the time that you have to work out, the time that you have to get ready for work and all that stuff. It eats into all the time. So if you can just open up an app, pull up the day and do the workout that's listed for you right there, it takes, first of all, all the brain power that you have to use and like decision making out of it. And you just work out and that's it. And then it's over 20 minutes and it's over. And then if you want to do more, you can. But for me, I feel that's the way that I am the most efficient when I'm working out is when it's decided for me or I've decided the night before I'm going to this gym class. So I just drive. I put Julia in the tot spot and I go into the class. I don't have to think about anything. Somebody tells me what to do and I do it. And that's how I've been successful, staying on a schedule, staying on a routine and enjoying what I'm doing because I'm not the one that has to come up with the workout. And I think a lot of people get stuck there when they're like, I don't know what to do. Or like Robin just said, can you teach me how to do it? It's like somebody is there teaching you how to do it. And it couldn't be easier because you're just following them. And if you're doing it at home, nobody can even see you. So you don't need a cute workout outfit, but it's better when you have one. So we're going to talk about that too. Um... Okay, so I love fashion and clothes. I need to stay in some shape to enjoy the latest trends. I totally agree, Effie. I'm, I'm with you on that. Um, my youngest son applied to Lifetime for a lifeguard. <laughs> I'll be sneaking in. Robin, you can use some of my guest passes if you want. I never, uh, I never have any guests to bring with me because my mom has her own membership. <laughs> um, yes, clothes are an incentive. So we are going to talk about that. I'm going to start off with, I'll show you an outfit. I'll show you some workout equipment and then I'll change because I have a couple of cute things. I decided that this was also a good live to try out some active wear dresses because I'm really into that like sports dress trend because I think they're just like so comfortable, so easy to wear in the summer. And I don't know if I would work out in them, but I know a lot of people do and clearly they're active wear. So like you can work out in them. So I'm going to try and some of those for you as well. So let's get started. I'm going to move this, sorry, taco out of the way. And then a little bit later in the show, we are going to do the giveaway winner too for somebody who wins a year subscription to the Katie Austin app. Okay, so, um, okay, good luck, Robin. She's going to uh, do her going to sleep early so she can get to her training. Hope you feel better and I hope you do very well on your training and you will catch the replay. Yes, Katie Austin has great recipes too. I love all of her recipes, although I will say she cooks with way more butter than I use in my daily life. So I'm sure her recipes taste better than the ones that I make at home. All right, so I'm gonna get started with this first outfit that I'm wearing. And unfortunately, the pants never showed up, but I have this exact outfit in three different colors. So, oh, my tea delivery came just as my voice is starting to crack, thank you. Okay, oh my God, it's so hot. <clears throat> okay, so I have this outfit in three different colors. Well, two, and then one is on the way. So I have the pink one. I also have it in purple, and then I just ordered it in this, like, slate blue color. So this is the color of the one that I just ordered, and it's on sale right now. I'm so annoyed that it didn't come in. So it's on sale right now. Um, this is the top that I got to go with it. It doesn't actually, like, it's not a set. The one that I'm wearing is a set. See? 
Uh, I just love it. It is so cute. And like I said, good workout clothes make you feel like you want to work out. And I'm literally the person that stands front and center in the workout class because I need to be like looking at, at all angles, make sure my form is right, make sure my outfit looks good. Like that's how I know that I'm getting the most out of my workout. I know that not everybody is crazy like me when it comes to that, but that's also why I love, um, I'm very picky about my workout clothes. So, um, all right, there we go. Every day I say to myself, I'll just start with the treadmill and see where it takes me. And then once I go through the treadmill, I'm motivated to go on to the next thing. That's such a good point. Um, that's my mom. And that's the mentality that I grew up with. She was always like, well, just put on your workout clothes and come downstairs with me and see what happens. And then eventually you end up working out. And for me, I'm still in that mentality. When I get up in the morning, I put on workout clothes and I don't let myself change until I've done something. Even if I can't get to the gym, even if I only have 10 minutes between drop off for Cooper and little gym for Juliet, I will do a 10 minute, like I'll put on Rebecca Louise and I'll do a 10 minute ab or arm routine. And that's enough and it's fine. And you feel like you did something. You feel like a goal was met that day. You feel better about yourself. So for me, it's getting out of bed and immediately putting on workout clothes. And if I, I like will not let myself shower until I've worked out for the day, obviously on a day that I know I'm not working out is a different story, but that's mainly how I do it. And my mom, she's going to laugh probably what that I'm telling the story, but she's even worse than I am because she sleeps in her workout clothes. <laughs> she's like, if I don't put these on at night and sleep in them, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them on in the morning to like work out. So I'm sleeping in them. That way I have to roll out of bed and get to my workout. So it really is just like I said, there's no real, we're not talking about motivation here. We're talking about dedication and just committing to doing it as much as you, you know, as much as you, I want to say every day, but you know, it's not every day, but committing to doing it on a schedule and don't let yourself off the hook. Even if it's only 10 minutes or 20 minutes or however long you have during the day, it's so important because it makes you feel better about yourself. And that's why we're all here. Okay. So I am going to show you guys since we're already 20 minutes into the live. Um, but a lot of that stuff is really what I wanted to say throughout the whole live because it's so important. The biggest, like the most popular question I get is how do you stay motivated? And it's so not about that. It really isn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, my mom is like, you're telling everyone I sleep in my workout clothes. Well, you do. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this is the um, the outfit page that I have here. So these are the two um pieces that I'm wearing right now. And then I couldn't, I didn't have enough room to link the top that I'm wearing, but it's also Athleta. It all goes together. And again, I got it all on sale. So let's see if it's still on sale here. Yeah. Look at that. $24. You guys like, oh my God, $24.97 for these pants. And they have almost every size available. Like, can you imagine they're a hundred dollars? The pants are a hundred dollars. So that's why I'm saying Athleta has such great sales. And this, for anybody who's interested, this is the one that I just ordered that did not come on time, unfortunately. So, um, and this one doesn't have that many sizes available, but it's still available. So, and I wear my normal size in this. I would say Athleta does run a tad big. So I'm really in between a small and an extra small, but the extra small starts rolling on this, um, on the top. And that's how I know, like, it's really a little bit too small on me, but it's so like their materials are so good and so stretchy that, you know, they really do stretch a lot, but in order to stay comfortable, I would say go true to size, um, for Athleta and they have a great return policy. If something doesn't say final sale, you can actually wear it to work out, like try it out and then bring it back if you wanted to. I've never done it, but apparently you can, I just love their clothes. So I always end up keeping everything. Uh, but anyway, so I'll show you what this looks like without the, um, like over this, like over layer on, but I do love all of their, um, like athleisure clothes too. They're just like, the materials are so great. So this is what the bra looks like. Sometimes with the bra, even though I have a larger chest, I definitely take the small. Sometimes I have to take an extra small if it's like a really, um, like low impact, like stretchy one. This I'm pretty sure is just a small. Um, but so comfortable and they also come with removable cups. I always take my cups out, but they're there. This one has an inside bra as well. So this one is a long line bra is what it's called. So if I'm going to wear something like this, which is like my normal, like attire to wear to the gym, I don't like wearing just a regular sports bra. It's not like my first choice. So I like the longer, uh, the longer one, which is called a long line sports bra. That's a good idea to sleep in my workout clothes. Yeah, so these are high-waisted. They come all the way up to the um, 
the waistline. They have a little cell phone pocket here. No pockets on the sides, which is not my favorite. I love when um, when workout pants have the pocket on the side, but I also like the length of them too. I linked my workout sneakers. These are the ones that I wear every time I work out except when I'm doing a bar workout. I really like them. I think they're on sale on Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's where I got them and where I linked them. They're under $100, or they should be. They were when I bought them. So you guys can look at them there. I get a lot of questions on my sneakers. And yeah, I love the color of them too. And again, I also have the set in purple. I just think it's so cute and just like really, I don't know, fashionable. And I also liked that I bought the layer on top. So it was like a three piece outfit. Um, okay, so now that I'm in this outfit, I'm gonna show you, what kind of equipment should I show you? Okay, so the first thing that I'll show you is my tried and true, I would say most important, important, important piece of equipment that I have in my possession in my house and they are my ankle weights. So I actually talk about dedication and not letting myself the hook off the hook. I have all of my workout um, gear, like a set of weights, my ankle weights and a band on every floor of my house because if I have to, if, I'm, if I decide to do a workout and my ankle weights are not there, I'm like, oh, let me get on my phone and I'm distracted, and I'm procrastinating, and I'm elongating the amount of time. So I do, literally do not let myself off the hook. I have weights underneath my bed. I have weights in the playroom and uh, ankle weights in the playroom and a band. And then down here with all of our workout equipment, I have all of my stuff. So I am telling you, this is the foolproof plan. You can laugh at me, but it's how you can make sure that you don't let yourself off the hook is to be prepared wherever you are, like literally drop and give me 20. And it's like, hold on, I'll put my ankle weights on. <laughs> um, so anyway, these are so good. I think these are one pound. So I linked them from a bunch of places. This one, yeah, these are one pound. So one pound each. I linked them at a bunch of places because they're different prices depending on where you get them, I think. So some places offer free shipping. Um, some places are more expensive. Some places have like a bundle deal of a couple of different Bala equipment, but I, I know a bunch of companies make them. I love the Bala brand. Almost all of the workout equipment that I use is from Bala. I just love their, I don't know, I guess their marketing gets me. It's just like really nice equipment. Um, and so they're a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're probably like $50, between 50 and I think the highest price is 70, but I think they're probably $49.99. And I use them as ankle weights and as wrist weights. So if I'm doing an arm workout, I'll put them on my arms. And I something that even if the workout video that you're doing doesn't show that they're using any equipment, I put these on anyway because I'm getting more bang for my buck during the workout. So like I said, I only work out if I'm doing a home workout 25 to 30 to 30 minutes. So in that time, I want to make sure that I am getting the most out of it. So I will throw these on for every workout that I do at home, just to make it a little bit harder. You don't think that a pound adds weight, but it totally does. So I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> I have them, like I said, in the playroom as well. It already feels like it's definitely weighted on my leg. So you can put them on, and then when you're doing like jumping jacks or something, it makes it even that much harder. Or if you're doing like leg lifts, you're wor working that much more because you have the weight on your ankle already. So you're already giving yourself more of a leg up than just doing the regular routine, which is already giving yourself a leg up than not working out at all. So you're really just building layers onto the whole, your whole sort of like routine, if that makes sense. Do they go on tight and stay on? I need better fitting ones. Yes. So like I said, I love the Bala brand because I just think that all the equipment is really, really well made. So the this um, Velcro is really strong and it also... Um, like the weights slide down. So if you want most of the weight to the back to work on like the hamstrings, you can do that. I usually don't really pay attention to that. I kind of just spread them out and put them on, but you can uh, be a little bit more <laughs> insightful and like purposeful if you want to. So this is how we build it up. I'll show you how to do one move and then how to like build it up to get the most out of that move, if that makes any sense. So the first thing we start with is the ankle weight. And I would say out of everything that I own equipment wise, they are my most used item just because with every workout you do, whether it's a bar workout, a cardio workout, 
you you can put them on and just like forget that you're wearing them. And I mean, your workouts will be harder. But what I'm saying is it's not like picking up a weight and putting it down. And should I use weights for this workout? You already have them on your ankles. So it's already done and you leave them on the whole time. So I would say out of everything on the live tonight, I would grab the ankle weights. And I, like I said, I have multiple pairs around the house so that I don't have to keep running up and down looking for them. And it's my way to ensure a successful, like strenuous, but not super difficult workout just because if I don't have them, I'm not going to use them. So I make it really easy to not let myself off the hook for it. Okay. So that is the ankle weight. So what I will show you right now is, let's see. Okay. So I have the ankle weights and then, and these are also, like I said, they're a pound each. So easy to store in some luggage if you're going on vacation or like easy to throw in a closet if you are like working in a home office or whatever. Um, very easy to store. And then one of the most important things that you can own and literally like look how small this is. Pack this in a suitcase, pack it in your work bag, um, throw it in the closet. I have it in, one in the playroom closet. I have a couple down here. I um, linked a bunch of them for you. They usually come in a pack of different um, like strengths, I guess, if that makes sense. So I brought two to show you guys. So this is a light band, which means it's easier to move. There's more give in it. And this is a heavier band, so it's harder to move. So again, depending on what move you're doing or how much of um, a strenuous workout you want, you would grab either one. There's usually like four in a pack. I just can't find my other ones right now. Um, <laughs> my stuff's kind of like all over the place. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to put this on and how to kind of like build up your workout. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get down and dirty here, you guys. So I'm going to show you one of the most, um, I guess, quintessential or like popular workouts to do or exercises to do is a leg lift, right? Super easy. So hands go down on the floor, flat back, tuck the stomach in, and then you lift up the leg and you do a leg lift. This works the leg, it works the standing leg or the kneeling leg, it works the butt, and you do a leg lift. So if you are just starting out and you wanna do your leg lifts here, this is where you are gonna stay. If you're like, okay, I want a little bit more bang for my buck, what you're gonna do is you are going to throw an ankle weight on. And I would put it on both legs, but just for the purposes of this show, I'm only gonna put it on one so you guys can see and we don't waste time. So now for one, and now it's a little bit harder for me because I have that extra weight on my leg. And now if you're like, hmm, I wanna add a little bit more of a strenuous activity, now what you're gonna do is grab a weight from, I'll show you guys my weight rack after, but this, like you can buy the, I have eights, fives, and threes, and I basically never use anything else besides those. So we're not talking about heavy weights here. I always grab a five. That's what, like if you do a Rebecca Louise video or something like that, they'll tell you like put a five pound weight behind your leg. So um, I didn't make it up, but I just follow it. So here you go. So now you have the ankle weight on, plus you have the weight behind your leg, and now you are doing a weighted leg lift and you're still going up and you still have good form and it just gives you a little bit more of that like you know hold in the glute there and then if you're like now I want to get crazy and again you can add and subtract all of these it doesn't have to be built upon this so if you just want to use the weight behind the leg and you don't want to use the ankle weight you can do that too I'm just showing you all the different things you can do and then you can take a band, put it around your knees. I'm using a light band, but I'd probably use a medium. I just can't find my medium one at the, at the moment. So you would take the band around your ankle or around your, um, like the tops of your knees. And then you go up and this gives you resistance in the ham, well, hello, in the hamstring over here. So you do the same thing that you were just doing but the band gives you a little bit more resistance. So if you don't want to use a weight or if you want to use it in conjunction with a weight, then you can do that too. So this is why I'm saying 
all of these things are the best pieces of equipment to have for home workouts because they're easy to store, they're easy to use, and you can build up any of your workouts to make them easier or harder depending on the mood you're in and how much time you have. So for me, I don't have a lot of time. So the way that I combat that is by adding more, um, adding a weight to the workout or, you know, I don't like to do cardio. So I try to go a little bit more strenuous on the weight as opposed to on the activity, if that makes sense. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, I feel like I need to work out the other side of my body now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put on the next outfit. And then we can talk a little more about that. If you guys have any questions about what I showed you, let me know. But yeah, basically, the those are my tried and true um, pieces of equipment. So I will show you what my weight what, what my weight rack looks like, and it is just from Amazon. And you can actually buy them separately if you want. Like I know Five Below has weights. I think actually my blue weights are from there but <laughs> what I don't like about the five below weights is that they are not always even so I'll show you what I mean in a second <clears throat> okay so this is one of this is my new top or one of the new tops from Athleta so cute so this is also I think they would call this I'm not sure if they would call this a crop or a long line sports bra but it has a sports bra built into it which I always love those tops I took out the cups um but you can leave them in if you want to and these are my pants from Amazon and they are some of my favorite workout pants if you guys like I said, I'm kind of a snob about my workout clothes. So if you guys like high-waisted leggings and don't want to spend a lot of money, but like I said, those Athleta ones are $24. Crazy. But if you don't want to spend a lot of money on them, um, or like if you're not sure if you like them yet or whatever, obviously Amazon is like super easy to buy from. So I have these in two different colors. These are, and look how many colors they have. Like so many. And I love the fact that they have the pockets on the sides. And $25. Prime and free returns, and you even get a five dollar a five five percent coupon. So, I would say if you are dipping your toe into working out and into um, some, you want some cute workout outfits. This is a good way to go because obviously it's Amazon. Um, those ankle weights are deceiving too. You don't think it's too much until you start pushing. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I always have them on for like leg and um, arm workouts, and you know it's tough, but it's fine but then I forget that I'm still wearing them when I go to do like an ab workout. And that's when I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take these off because they get so heavy when your legs are like up in the air for that long. So I definitely would say for sure they look deceiving. And when I was buying them for the first time, I was like, I, one pound, that's not gonna do anything. I need a heavier ankle weight. So I bought heavier ankle weights and that's not the point of ankle weights. The point is just to add some extra weight to you. It's not supposed to be weight training on your ankles because that's the easiest way to like get some ankle pain and foot pain and all that stuff. And that's not what you want. Okay, so I would say uh, true to size for these Amazon pants. I have a small, you can't really see in the black, but like I said, they do have pockets here and I also own this color as well and you can see the pocket too so $25 the material is very similar to the lululemon um wonder is it the wonder under it's like they're like a little bit tighter than the align leggings like the material it's like a little bit more compression than the align leggings and there's no seam at the top so it's really comfortable and just easy to wear and then this top is also athleta and is on sale i actually bought this in store um, when I went, when I did some recon for you guys, um, on Tuesday, I went in and it is $24 and I'm pretty sure I paid $49.99. So yay. <laughs> I still have a tag on it. Maybe I'll bring it back and then buy it again because, so this is why Amy was saying it's an online warehouse sale. Okay. Well, I definitely spent $49.99 on, or thir I think it was $39.99 on this. So you guys are going to get the deal if you grab this one. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you what my weight rack looks like. 
Oh my god. This is heavy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll put it back here so you guys can see. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that it came with the weights, but I'm pretty sure that these weights specifically were from Five Below. So the thing that I was mentioning is Five Below is great because everything is like five-ish dollars, maybe ten dollars or whatever, and you can get weights if you don't have any in your house. So it's a good um, option when you need to like stock up on some in-home equipment. However, you really need to be careful because when I brought the weight weights home, I realized that one of the like handlebars was thicker than the other one and it's really annoying when you go to grab them and one isn't the same. So these aren't that bad, but the black ones that I have upstairs, for sure, it's like one feels so much thicker than the other one. It's really annoying when you're working out. So I would say definitely test them out beforehand. Don't just grab weights when you're there. And then this is the rack. So like I said, I almost never use anything above this unless I'm doing like a kettlebell swing or um, like a heavier weighted squat, which I'll only use one weight for, and I have something to show you for that. But in general, for bar classes, which is strength training, um, which is mainly what I do, it's low weight, high rep. So where if you do a higher weight, you can only do maybe like five or 10 of them. In a bar class situation or a low impact situation, you would take a lighter set of weights, like threes, and you would just do, you know, three sets of 10 or something like, or three sets of 12 or whatever it is, so that you're doing higher reps, but less weight. And I personally like that better. Um, I pretty much have graduated from the threes though. I don't use them as often as I used to. I mainly use fives now, even in the class. <laughs> I'm like the only one that uses the fives, but it does make it a lot more difficult. So I will say, I know, there are different schools of thought for this, which is like, you know, women are shy away from heavier weights and that's the way to get the muscle. And I definitely come at it from a different point of view because I have a lot of muscle in my upper body. I like working out my shoulders. I like working out my arms. I'll almost always choose that over lower body. <laughs> I hate doing lower body, but, um, and I've always done low weight. So threes, fives, eights, if I, have to, but that's almost considered like a heavier weight for me. So I would not get into the mindset or scared off being like, oh, I can't lift that weight or I have to do more. I have to lift 10 pound weights. I don't want to do that. You don't have to. I pretty much always stick with fives. And <laughs> it's so funny when Greg sees me working out, he's like, really? Like that's, that's how you get this? Like that's how you get your arms looking like that? I'm like, yeah, he has to lift like 300 pounds but I'm over here with my fives and like it's good enough for me and I get toned up and I don't feel, like I said, like I'm going to die because if I feel like I'm wiped out, I'm not going to want to do it and I'm not going to be able to like get on with the rest of the day and, you know, focus and on my kids and do what I have to do. I'm going to be, I'm just going to need to take a nap after and I don't want to do that either. Um, Effie said, I use 10 pound weights. I'm older than you. Definitely higher weights for older than 40. Yes, I've totally heard that too. I mean, my mom uses higher weight too, but she also, because she does higher weight, she does less rep. She does less reps. So it's a trade off. It just depends on what is also going to help you stay with it. So if you're like, I have to use 10 pound weights or I have to use 15 pound weights and like that's in your mind and you can't do it, you can't do it safely you hurt yourself, then it's not worth it. So if you haven't been working out consistently, I would say definitely starting low and totally graduating up is fine, but I wouldn't start out with tens because you think that you have to to build muscle because it's just not true. You can build muscle with um, lower weights and I am proof of that. Um, once you hit that perimenopause, you start hearing about heavy weights. Okay, well, uh, obviously I'm not there yet, but I will trust you on that. But it's still the same point, which is it doesn't matter if it's heavy or light if you're not doing it, right? So if you're not doing anything, then it's still like lightweight is still better than not doing anything. And then heavier weight is in your case better than lightweight. So it, I think it's really just all about consistency and what's going to give you the most consistency, what's going to give you the most bang for your buck, and also what is going to keep you um, like in a routine. So if you're constantly dreading it, you're just not going to do it every day. So for me, I'm like, oh, I can do this. It's it's five pounds. I can do it. 
And then, as my mom said before, as you're doing the five pounds, you're like, ah, this feels a little bit easy. I'm going to put my ankle weights on and give myself an extra two pounds. And then you're doing it, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, I can just lift the eights, and then I have an extra couple of pounds. It's fine. So you graduate up from there, but you always need a starting point, and you don't want a starting point that's going to scare you off or make you dread doing the workout. Um, <laughs> you have time. <laughs> um... Oh my gosh, mom, stop it. She said she was actually using lower weights for kickbacks and some guy at the gym came over and said, you're not as strong as you look. <laughs> okay, well, that guy definitely was older because there is no way that like my generation of male would think, I mean, obviously there are outliers, but like nobody would think to go up to a woman and comment on her workout like that. Who does that? Oh my gosh, um, that is insane. Don't, like, you're there and you're clearly strong and you're clearly fit, you're clearly in shape. That is ridiculous. You should, well, you could say, I'm sure my mom's the queen of the comebacks. I'm sure she could have thought about something to say, but you don't know who you're dealing with in these situations, so probably better to ignore them. But you could have said, like, well, you're not as nice as you appear or something like that. Or something worse than that. <laughs> um, yes, you can build muscle with lower weights for sure. You totally can. Um, and yeah, you just do what works for you. If that, if doing higher weight works for you, that is awesome. Okay, so that is my weight rack. And then I do want to show you... So like I said, Bala has some of my absolute favorite workout equipment. Um, I can't find the third ring, but Greg bought me this for the holidays are for my birthday uh, a couple of years ago and it's been awesome. So there, it came with like a three ring, it's a three ring, three ring circus. And so this would be good for you ladies who are lifting a little bit heavier. This is a 10 pound. This is a five pound. And then there was an eight pound in between them. So this is supposed to be, Oh, I found it. <laughs> it's holding my light stand so that, you know how like you use a sandbag on a light stand. Um, Greg, I think Greg decided, Greg or my photographer friend who helped me set up my studio, put this around the light stand so it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't move. That was a good idea, but now I don't have my eight pound weight. So anyway, we, you would use this instead of using two separate weights. So for instance, when you are doing a squat or something, right? So let's say you're doing like a lower body squat, something like this. You're using two different weights here and your arms might not be the same height. Your shoulder might be higher on this side. You're not perfectly even. Nobody is perfectly even. And you don't want to like overcompensate on one side, hold this one down, this one up. So in order to combat that and make sure that you're always using correct form, these um, rings are amazing. So you can grip them underneath if you want to. You can use them as um, a kettlebell if you wanted to do some deadlifts, something like that. Um, but I mainly like to use it when I'm doing squats just so that my arms stay the same, like my shoulders stay the same, and I'm not using two different weights and having that issue. So I love using this ring because it keeps everything all like tight and even. So if you guys are interested, again, Bala is such a great company. You definitely get what you pay for with their stuff. Definitely a higher price point, but if you are looking to up your stay at home equipment game, definitely um, recommend their stuff. So my ankle weights are from there. Um, these little like, and then you can also do, you know, like anything that you would use regular weights for, you can use these little donuts too. So I love these. Um, I just think they're really easy to use and they're not like the typical um, like weight shape. So I really think it's easier to grab. So that's that. And then I also have, and all this stuff, like I said, is linked to you guys. I have these bands from Bala too, which I don't get as much use out of. I just feel like maybe because I have them down here and they're not in the playroom, which is usually where I'm working out, fending off my kids while I'm trying to get a workout in. But these are definitely, um, like more, what's the word? Um, like luxurious than the regular Amazon bands. So I'll just show you the difference. Like this band definitely could snap, but these are also like $4. So 
you know, it just, it's whatever you decide you want to do, but they all basically give you the same result in the end. So this is like that, um, just like a regular workout band that you would see in the, like in the gym. I use these in my gym class today. And then this is the Bala one. So it's more, it's fabric. It has the dots inside so that it's non-slip, which for these, what happens is when you have them on like today, <laughs> my band went all the way up. So when you're doing workouts uh, and some kind of exercises, a lot of times it will roll up or roll down depending on what workout you're doing. So in order to combat that, <clears throat> the Bala ones have that little like um, non, non slip grip in the inside. So, and these come in, I think three, I think it was three different sizes. Again, I can't find the other one, but this one is like super hard. So that's the heaviest one. And then this is probably the lightest one. <laughs> and then surprise, surprise, I can't find the middle. It's probably in the playroom. So this is again, the same way you would use that other band you would use this. So you don't, all of this equipment is great because like I said, for me, I work out for a lot less time than maybe somebody else. So when I'm getting a 20 minute workout in, if I am doing a workout class and we're like, okay, let time to do leg lifts. This is a great workout. You're working the waist, you're working the leg. And then if you want to up your game a little bit for this, you can put on an ankle weight. You can also, or instead you can put the um, free weight on your hip and that gives you more resistance up in the leg situation here. You can do this plus the ankle weight and then you can also put the band on. And again, you can do all of these together or individually. You put the band on and you also get that tightness. It's the same thing whether you have the weight here or you have the band on, you still get the resistance through the leg here. So you end up working, my standing leg is feeling it right now. So you end up getting a lot more, like I always say, bang for your buck or a lot more use out of the workout than you would if you weren't using any equipment. And so then I'm like, oh, 20 minutes. And I really feel like my muscles are fatigued because I used all of this extra equipment to make it a little bit harder for me. So that's, that's how I approach it is I don't want to be working out forever and I want to make sure that I got like a good amount of stuff in. So yes, um, Effie, all of the stuff is linked. I'll show you guys the screen share again. So um, on my like to know it right here, this right here, Jenna's Picks Fitness Edition, all of the stuff is linked here. So these are the bands that I was just using. Um, this is the three ring that I was using. This is the ring plus the ankle weights. And then these are all the different places the ankle weights are sold. My weight rack, a um, couple of free weights and the bands. So I love the sliders. I can't find them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're in the playroom underneath Cooper's Legos, but I didn't have a chance to check. I found the bag that it comes in. So all of the Bala stuff comes in these cute little uh, mesh zippered pouches. And they're also really great gifts. So if you have, um, you know, like a sister or if, if your birthday's coming up or something, like I said, Greg got me that three ring for my birthday. He got me the ankle weights for the holidays one time. So I just think that because they are on the pricier side, they make really great gifts because you will use them. You'll get a lot of use out of them. So that is what I'll say about that. Um, I bought a full workout outfit from Target to show you guys, and I actually didn't love it, so I'm not going to put it on. Um, I, like I said, I'm a little snobby about my workout clothes. I have um, a couple things from Target that I like, but I really thought I had high hopes for this, and I didn't get a chance to try it on because I was with both of my kids um, <laughs> yesterday when I went in there to grab it. So... I was hoping it would fit and I just didn't, the pants were good, but I just didn't love the top. So I decided not to show it to you guys because I have um, a couple of other things that I wanted to show you. So got to get moving because I want to try on those active dresses for you too. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to show you, <clears throat> these are two workout tops and also, so the pants are from Amazon. My shoes I got from Amazon too, they're Reebok, the sneakers that I wear. And then these two are two of my favorite workout tops. I wear them all the time and they're both from Amazon as well. So they are higher neckline, so perfect if you guys are doing yoga. 
I never understood <laughs> why all yoga tops had higher necklines until I wore a regular sports bra one time. And I was like, okay, every time I like bent down to do something. And now I know. So if you're into yoga, for sure there. Um, you're welcome, Nadine. Hi. Okay. So yes, all of it is on my website. So I'll show you guys just quickly how to get there. Um, so Jenna's picks. Hello. Spelled it wrong. Spelled my own website wrong, you guys. All right, so this is my website, Juji, And then my picks is where you can find my shops. So here you go. My like to know it shop is right here. My Amazon storefront is right here. So I linked everything from tonight on like to know it. So you just click shop now. You go down to Jenna's picks right here. And then you find all the fitness equipment right there and all of the outfits right here. So this is the top that I'm wearing right now. It's from Amazon, $30 for um, a long line sports bra. Look at all these colors that it comes in. Um, one of my favorite tops. And then the other one that I'm wearing is, where is it? Or is that it? Okay, so it's this, oh, it's the same top, just in two different, oh no, it's not, it's right here. I linked it in green. So this is the other one, $24.99. It's essentially the same thing. It just doesn't come in as many colors and it's a 10% coupon. So I really like these because the material is great. It feels like an Athleta top. If you, if you turned me around and you closed my eyes and you asked me if it was Athleta, I would not be able to tell you that it wasn't. Really comfortable, and like I said, it has that built-in sports bra that I like too. So it just, like, I feel like it holds me in. Not that I do so much cardio, as I just said, but it definitely feels like I'm held in. I can do cardio if I want to. And it just is like really cute and goes with everything. You can layer on top of it. And it also comes with removable cups, I believe. But I never keep the cups in. Got enough padding already up here. <laughs> um, okay, so those are the two that I wanted to show you from Amazon. And I'm going to try on some active dresses for you guys now. So, like I said, I'm very much into this active dress Thing. You guys know if you've watched my lives um, when I'm in talking about the summer wardrobe, I love wearing summer dresses and I just think they're really easy to put on. And then similarly, I really like wearing active wear in the summer because it's just comfortable. Like, you know, dresses are great, but if it's a short dress, I'm not going to want to wear it out with the kids because I can't bend down and tie shoes and carry them and whatever. So I always end up wearing a maxi dress, which is great. But if you want to wear a shorter dress, I was wearing one of those like skirts with the shorts underneath. So I bought one last year to try out and I got a lot of use out of it. And now the active dresses are like super trendy. So I'm like, hmm, let me try these on. And this is the first time I'm putting it on. So I actually really like it. So I'll come up close so you guys can see it has a seam here and also down the sides. And then it has shorts. Is there a pocket? Pocket on this side. I'm not used to seeing the lefty pocket. I like it. So there's a pocket on that side. It's a little bit on the shorter side. You guys know I'm not used to um, wearing short dresses, but I actually really like the way this fits. I'm wearing the size small. This one is from Old Navy. I have it linked as well. So I'll go back to the screen share um, right here. This should be the Old Navy one and it's on sale for $31.99. I have the black one, but it comes in a couple of other colors here. So just go right to my like to know it to buy that one. And remember, you guys, if you can, if you love the stuff that I'm showing you, please, please use my links. It costs you nothing and it helps me a ton to be able to do these lives for you. And I really, really appreciate it when you guys use it. So you can also find the links in the description of this YouTube video. So if you click on it, the description of like what the show is about. I linked both of the links for the outfits and the workout equipment right there for you guys. Um, Target has the best workout clothes, Joy Lab and In Motion. Yes. So the tops that I personally own already from Target are from Joy Lab and I love them. I actually wore one today at the gym, but the whole outfit that I got was from In Motion and I liked the pants and I liked the athletic pants. I bought like, um, not like workout pants, but just like athletic pants. I liked both of those, but the top, I really didn't like the style. It was like a cotton material, so it didn't feel like it was gonna be like super receptive to like sweat or wicking. So I was kind of disappointed in the quality of that. But overall, I do like Target 
um, workout clothes and it's a good price point. But like I said, if you're talking about a $30 top from Target, but then Athleta pants are on sale for $24.99, like the Athleta quality is just far and away so much better. But when you're talking about Athleta not on sale, $100 is a lot different than $30. So I would definitely say keeping up with the sales for Athleta is a really good idea. And also um, Athleta Fabletics is great too. I used to have a subscription. I should probably start it up now, <laughs> but um, they also have a store in our mall. So Fabletics is awesome and also a pretty high price point, but good sales. And then of course there's always Target too. And um, this is from Old Navy. Um, Jenna, you made me a believer in Amazon clothing. I've ordered so much. I know it's, it's like, but then again, at the same time, it's like Amazon clothing is great, but you're talking about a $30 top when you could also get a $25 top from Athleta. So really sussing out the sales is going to be beneficial for you guys. Um, but anyway, what do we think about an active dress? Are you guys into it or not? Like, look how cute the back is and it has the built-in bra. So you don't have to wear a bra. And you don't have to worry about like your skirt coming up or wearing bike shorts or anything underneath it when you're like sweaty and your legs are rubbing together. I like having the shorts underneath. So I'm kind of really into this dress. I'm definitely going to keep this one. I have another one also that I think is a little bit longer and not as fitted because I know that not everybody on this show likes tight clothes, including me. This is a little bit tighter than I thought it was going to be, um, but it still fits really nicely. So let me see. The mirror that I have over here is definitely a skinny mirror, so I have to look at the two other mirrors I have to suss out the situation and see. Uh, no, this looks cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this one. I don't know, do you, would you guys work out in an athletic dress though? I don't know, like tennis, yes, I don't play tennis, but would you, I'm more thinking about it as like a school drop off, like, I don't know, going to Boston on, during the summer, like that kind of thing. Would you guys work out in it or is it more just like a, um, I'd never work out in it just to look cute in. Yeah, I, t I think I agree. Um, I think, I, like, I don't think I'd go to a gym, oh, I don't think I'd go to a gym class in this dress, but I definitely would wear it, like, when I take Cooper out on his scooter or if I'm, like, taking the kids to the park or something. It's just easy because you don't have to wear a bra. I like it. I like not having to wear a bra in the summer. I think we can all agree <laughs> on that one, right? Okay, so... The next one is also from Old Navy, but I did see that Target has basically the exact same one. I wasn't going to buy it when I was in the store yesterday because I have this one, but it looked exactly the same. And I'm pretty sure it was the exact same price too. Okay, so this is the other one. It is not as form-fitting. It's more of like a sort of like sheath um, silhouette. So it does have the built-in cups, it has the built-in sports bra, and then the shorts are a little bit longer too because the whole dress is a little bit longer. This is more of like that dark teal color. I really like the color of this. I don't know that I love the style as much on me. I think it's like doing some weird hanging thing here. It is cute though. So like if you need an athletic dress, like I'm thinking about when Greg and I are in Italy next month, I'm like, I want to look cute, but I also want to be comfortable walking around and seeing all the sights. So I'm like, a little active dress might be cute. I feel like I need a white one. I don't know why I feel like white on vacation because I never get to wear it with my kids. Um, but yeah, this is cute. Oh, golf. Amy says golf. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, cute, wouldn't work out in it. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't work out in it, but I'm definitely into wearing it for the summer. So this one has two slits over here and it has... So I think the target, the difference with the target one is it has the slits and then it has two seams going up the sides. So this one is the Old Navy version and I agree totally, Amy. The other one looks better for my body type, but if you're somebody that doesn't like something being tight or if you don't have an A-line figure, if you don't want to accentuate the waist, this is a great one also to just like throw and go and just be really comfortable because it's not super tight. There is a lot of like material and give in the midsection. So if you're somebody who wants a little bit more material in the midsection, this one is really, really comfortable. And then it would also look cute if you had something to tie around your waist because you can actually give yourself a midsection without the dress being tight. So style tip, 
You guys know you couldn't leave this live without a style tip from me. So you can create a waist by taking a, um, a baggier, you can create a waist by taking a baggier dress and then throwing a sweatshirt around the waist so you create it, but you don't actually have to wear a tight dress. The more you know. So now this looks really cute and like you could actually walk around Italy. I actually really like the way this looks. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did and I also really like the color combo here, if you guys can see. It's like that dark teal and then this like rose color. So this is a way if you wanted to wear a baggy dress but still accentuate the waist, you can totally do that too. So there you go for that. And then wanted to show you guys a close up look at my, these are the sneakers. So many of you guys ask me about them. I have flat feet, so I need like pretty, not like specific sneakers, but a lot of sneakers are not comfortable for me. These, when I first started wearing them, like the first two or three days, I was like, I think I'm gonna have to return them. They don't really have any cushion in them. I don't think they're comfortable. And now I wear them every single day. So I think you just really have to break in whatever sneakers you get, but I um, highly recommend them. I love them. Like I said, I wear them every day that I'm working out. And they're a really good price point. I think they were like $80 on Amazon. So those are linked as well. And then I have one last outfit and it is athleisure. So I didn't think I was gonna get to everything today. All right, so this you guys have seen me wear before. I'm selfishly putting this on so I could just lounge in it after the live. <laughs> but I thought it was a good outfit to end on because it's so comfortable. I actually wore this, tra it's a great travel outfit and we haven't talked about aloe, um, aloe yoga, I think is really the name of the company, but also up there with Lululemon and, um, Athleta and all of those like, you know, really premium companies. And I'm also going to try on this Athleta top that I got. The pants didn't come in, but I have not had a chance to try on the top yet, so I'm gonna try that on and we'll see what we think. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get in and out of workout clothes quickly. <laughs> All right, so this is the top that I just got. Oh, I like it. Look, it's ruched on the side. So this is from Athleta. This is the one that matches the pants that never came in. Ah! So they're actually coming tomorrow. So maybe I'll link it for you guys and I'll be like, I'll put it on Instagram and show you guys um, just so you can see the pants. They're the same ones that I wore at the beginning of the show. They're just this color. Um, I'm still mad that they didn't come in. Anyway, so this one is called the Conscious Crop. So you can see it has like um, a little bit of a twist there in the back. And then I love the ruching on the sides. I'm a big fan. I like this a lot. So it has cups in it. I would take the cups out and I got a size small in this, but I was deciding between the small or the extra small. And I feel like the extra small probably wouldn't have enough material in like this side boob area. So I'm glad I got the small. Um, cute, I like this. All right, so again, this one's a higher neckline. So if you are into yoga or you just wanna make sure that you're not gonna have cleavage out everywhere, this is a great one. And I'll show you guys the link for it too. So in the screen share, it's right here, right at the top. I clicked that too fast, but it's right here in this one. And it's also $29.99, there you go. Well, the pink one is, the one that I have is 39. So it's still the same price as what I paid. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a heart attack again, you guys. It's the same price that I paid. Um, $39.99 and I love the ruching here. This is so cute. I'm really glad I got this one. And then these are the pants that go with the aloe set. They are joggers. I should probably move this since I keep stepping on it. Um, so these are a, a really, really comfortable, super soft ribbed jogger and I linked it on there as well. And then it comes, uh, well, it doesn't come with it, but you can purchase this pullover which um, Greg always gets the best outfits. So he got this pullover for me for the holidays last year. And then I ended up getting the matching pants because I loved it so much. And I wore this um, last time we took a flight and I showed it to you guys. This was my traveling outfit with a shirt underneath so I didn't get cold. But how cute is this? Comes in a couple of colors, but I definitely like this sort of like oatmeal-y color. 
And again, it's not something you would work out in, but it's definitely athleisure and you can wear it to a yoga class and then have your yoga clothes on underneath it. Um, or you can just, you know, wear it to school drop off, school pick up, playground, all that stuff, lounging around at home. That's what I'm about to do after this live is over because that's how I planned it. So I could end it on this note. I have my tea, I have my uh, comfy clothes. And yeah, so that was the fitness live, you guys. If you have any more questions, let me know. Let's see. My daughter loves aloe and Gymshark. Um, do these tops come a little longer in length? Okay. So Effie, um, I have a bunch of the um, Athleta tops that do come a little bit longer. I'll show you. Let's go to... So if you click on the link on my link and it brings you to this page, you can still shop and I will still get the credit for bringing you to the page. So... I appreciate you using, sorry, Taco, I need my stool back. I appreciate you using the links to um, shop. And then, of course, you don't have to buy the actual item that I am uh, showing tonight, but I still get the credit for it. So um, here's a racerback tank top. Um, here is, I actually own this one in a different color. This is the Momentum. It has, I love it because it has um, that same sort of like um, plastic bubble or like around the band. So it stays in place, which is nice and it doesn't roll up. And look at that, $29.97. And it comes, see, told you, it has the little uh, balls over there so that it doesn't roll up, which is cute and very functional. So they definitely have longer options for sure. Uh, that's the top that I'm wearing right now. And then let's see. I mean, I'm in like all I have this tank or I have this t shirt. They have bathing suits too. I haven't tried on any of their bathing suits. Um, cute tank here. So athletic just has such great stuff. So they definitely have a bunch of regular length tank tops and also regular length tops that have bras built into it. You can totally find that. It's not my style, but I totally get that um, that's your style. I probably should have brought down some of those that I have. Like I, I have the outfit and then I bought the tank top that goes over it because I'm not like always wanting to wear a sports bra at the gym. So, or like just a sports bra, tank top under a sports bra. So I have some of that too. But before I end it, I just wanted to put up the um, display of the apps that I use at home. So I showed you how to use some of this equipment. So definitely purchase it. It's so easy to store. Like literally, you're talking about putting this in a closet. <laughs> like you literally just throw it in your closet and then you don't understand how much you will get out of just adding this to your workout. You will feel you'll feel it tenfold, I'm telling you. And then when you do, message me and let me know because it's so good. Like you could do, I did a warm up the other day, one of Katie Austin's videos and it was like, you know, do this, do this for, you know, it looks like you're not doing anything, but keep just holding your arms up for five minutes really does add. But then if you're using the band and you're going like this and like this, it's like already my arms are starting to hurt. So there's so much that you can do with this tiny little thing that looks like it does nothing, you don't even realize. So I would say for sure the ankle weights, for sure the band. And then if you don't have a set of weights, buying the weights is just a good idea to have around the house. But I would say at least the ankle weights and the bands, if you're watching this, definitely purchase those. So these are my three favorite at-home workout apps, Katie Austin, which we're going to be giving away the membership to right now. And then Obey Fitness. I'll just show you a little bit about what that looks like. So um, this is obeyfitness.com. And let me just see the screen share here. So you can choose class type, fitness level, class length. So 10 minutes low impact, 28 minutes sculpt. These are all the classes that I usually do, which is why they're on top. Uh, 10 minutes advanced core. Um, I'm almost, I don't think I've ever done a 45 minute class, but 20 minute low impact, that's a good one. Um, so definitely easy to use this app as well. And both this Obey and Katie Austin have free trials if you guys want to test them out. Um, I highly suggest it. Just see if it fits into your routine. I'm telling you, having it there for you to tell you what workout to do without you having to think about it is literally a lifesaver for a busy person and we're all busy. 
And then Rebecca Louise is free YouTube videos. She has an app as well, but I've never used it. I probably should. Um, so for instance, she has five minute abs, six minute arms, 10 minute abs, um, 30 minute full body. So if you are looking to get into a home workout routine and want to try some stuff out, the free trials I think are the best way to go because if you like those apps, you will end up paying for it and it just is so much easier because they just tell you what to do every day. This one, you'd have to search out Rebecca Louise and then go to her videos and choose which one you want to do, which isn't the worst thing, but it does take more time. So for me, I'm all about making sure that I am using as much time as I can to work out because I don't have a lot of time and I just want everything to be decided for me. I don't want to make a decision. <laughs> so that's what I do. Yes, we're going to do the winner. Um, Amy said she likes the athletic bathing suits because they have the bra size. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, okay, so they may, they may price match if you just bought the stuff and it went on sale. Oh, that's true, Amy. I should go back. The thing is, like, I can't ever get to the mall with my kids, and now Cooper's going to be on vacation all week next week. So it's just hard. <laughs> Effie was like, I wonder if I'm going to run into you at the mall. And I'm like, only if it's on a Tuesday because I don't have my kids with me. <laughs> All right, you guys, the winner for the one year of Katie Austin app. So $99 value for workouts and recipes. And the winner is Kerry Mullen. Yay. Okay, so if you are watching Kerry, whether you're watching now or the replay, um, contact me, but I also have your email, so I will pass it on to the Katie Austin app and I'll have them contact you as well, but make sure you reach out to me so that I can congratulate you whether you're watching tonight or on the replay. Yay. Thank you so much to everybody who entered. It helped me so much be able to get some more YouTube subscribers. I hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, uh, this week. So exciting. Greg bought me a little present for it. I will show you guys when it comes. Um, he also got me a, like an Instagram plaque. It was so sweet. Um, I wanted to post it, but I totally forgot to do that, I think. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hit 10,000 followers. It was a goal of mine since I started, since I was actually for two years, it's been like a goal because I've been at like 9,100 and I'm like, haven't moved from that. And I'm like, oh, I really want to get to 10,000. It was just like personally, just like something that I had in mind. And then once I really broke off and started doing these lives myself, it was kind of like a test that I had in my mind of like, I wonder how long it could take me to do this on my own if I really like, you know, I'm actively trying to pursue it. And I'm so happy to say that with your help and um, all of your support, I got there. And it's only, as Greg wrote in my card, one goal of many. And then he wrote a really smart uh quote on the paper that was uh, very insightful and I can't I have to look in my uh, pictures because it like almost made me cry it was it was so sweet um, he said um, great minds must be ready not only to take the opportunities but to make them so I thought that was so sweet and so true. So you take the opportunities, but you also have to make them for yourself. And that's what I'm doing with this brand and with these lives and with my belt, which I hope that you guys all purchased. They went, if, by the way, if you purchased a belt, they went out today. I was waiting because I ordered a couple of like marketing materials and one of them got lost in the mail. I ordered um, like Jenna's pick stickers. So I had like, you know, a way I wanted the package to look. And the stickers got lost in the mail. They said that they were in my mailbox and they're not. So now I'm in an Amazon dispute. But anyway, so they would have been sent out a couple days earlier, but I was waiting on those stickers and unfortunately never came. So that's that. But if you did order a belt, they went out today. So yay! I can't wait for you guys to tell me what you think. And I hope it's all good things. If you are uh, like, what is she talking about? What do you mean a belt? What is going on here? Um, just want to show you guys quickly before we end that this is my Jenna's Picks website. I've officially launched my brand last week. If you were on for the launch party, yay. If you weren't, go ahead and watch the replay. But anyway, this is my website. It tells you all about the brand, everything that I'm going to be doing, my lives, all of my shops are all here, easy to find on the website now. And this is my first, very first product launch 
three colors of this belt. The whole live last week was dedicated to the belt. I'll be doing another live next week that's gonna be how to dress your dresses up with accessories and it will include the belt as well. So if you get your belt and you're like, great, now what do I wear with this? Watch the live next week because I'm gonna be showing you how to add it to your dress collection. It's gonna be such a good live. But anyway, this is your, this is the belt. It comes in three different colors, two different sizes, and they started going out today. So very, very exciting. And like I said, if you haven't gotten yours, please, please grab it. If you're interested, if you like it, if not, I won't, my feelings won't be hurt. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out my um, lives, for checking out my website, for being with me, for supporting me and for wanting to see more. So let me know what you wanna see and I will make it happen. Next week, like I said, we're doing a dressed, a dress live. I was gonna, I have to come up with a better name, like a dressed up live. Um, how to dress up your dresses with the belt. And, oh, I got one more question. I forgot about um, eating while we're, somebody asked about my <clears throat> protein intake and what I eat after I work out. So, I will say that I do not count calories. I do not count protein. I just make sure that I'm always eating protein, if that makes sense. So like today I came home from picking Cooper up from school and I was starving and I made myself some eggs because I was like, I don't want to eat the cheese doodles because I know they're sitting right here and I would if I didn't have a fitness live tonight, but I decided to make myself some eggs. So I always want to make sure that like I'm going for the protein. I'm getting... Um, like yesterday we went out to eat dinner and I got a Greek salad with chicken on it and it the, we were at a restaurant and it came and the chicken was like really small so I asked for an extra portion of chicken. So I always want to make sure I'm eating a lot of protein because that keeps you full and then I'm less inclined to snack on other things. So I'm always reaching for um, eggs, always reaching for chicken whenever I'm trying to order something. And then aside from that, I eat a lot of fruit and a lot of like leftovers from my kids, which is the worst thing to do. Don't do that if you're a mom, <laughs> because that's where I start to gain weight is not that like I'm counting calories or like weighing myself, but where I start to notice changes in my body is when I'm just like eating their leftovers all the time. So I really have to stop doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's what I will say about protein intake. I eat yogurt. After the gym, I always go in, um, my routine is I go to the gym. Juliet goes into her, the daycare, like tot spot there. And then when I go get her, we go down to the cafe to eat lunch. I order her something and then I get the container of hard boiled eggs. It has three hard boiled eggs in it. And that's what I eat while she's eating her muffin. So that gives you a little bit of insight into how I, you know, strive to eat. I'm not doing that every single day, but that's what I strive to do is to just focus on eating protein and then other stuff on the outskirts, but mostly protein. Um, cottage cheese. I don't know. Effie, I used to eat that. I used to do it when I was younger. My mom used to make me cottage cheese and pineapple. I haven't eaten it since I'm an adult. And honestly, it kind of grosses me out. I don't know why I like yogurt. I like jello. I don't have a consistency issue. But for some reason, cottage cheese just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yes, Effie, you will run into me in Mango or Zara one of these days for sure. Probably not Zara because of my situation last time. I haven't been back, but Mango for sure. All right, you guys, this was an hour and a half. I, I'm i sorry, not sorry, because this was such a great live and I knew it was going to be long and we might have to have another one because I didn't even get to all the things I wanted to do. I wanted to model some more, do some more fitness demos for you. So we're going to have to have another fitness live. I'll just have to buy new outfits. And uh, yeah. So join me next week for accessorizing your dresses. And yeah, this weekend I'm looking forward to being low key because we had Easter and everybody was sick two weeks ago. And then last week was the wedding, which I didn't even get to recap for you guys. Um, so we had Greg's sister's wedding last weekend. So this whole, these last two weeks and then the product launch and trying to get the belts out. It's just been so crazy at my house. So I'm very excited to have a weekend of downtime. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you found at least one thing that you liked 
get the ankle weights, get the bands, and then maybe get a cute workout outfit for yourself. Okay, I will see you guys on the, I was gonna say on the other side, but that sounded morbid. I will see you guys on the flip side. If you have any questions, you know where to find me, at Jennifin, J-E-N-A-F-I-N-N, -N, on Instagram and YouTube. Obviously, you're here. And also, check out jennaspicks.com and grab yourself a belt. I will see you guys next week. Bye.